There's something very odd about the hardware versions of these. You see this is hardware version 2.1. I'm going to show you something interesting about that. Stick around. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Hope you enjoy it. Now watch a video by Voltlog just now. It does some nice mailbag videos and some quite good coverage and details. If you're not familiar with Voltlog, go and check him out. He does some good stuff. I might link him down below or something. He did a video on his KSGI. He's got the plastic case version and its hardware version 2.1S. And here's an issue known with those where the battery will go flat, will be drained. And that is a resistor on the board which is drained the battery. Well, I've got hardware version 2.1S as well. So let's investigate this. Let's pull mine apart and have a look at it. Let's just take the front panel off. Now his unit was a plastic case, I've got the, I've got the metal case version. So I should just be able to take the front panel off only without taking the rest of the casing off. Hopefully if the wire's long enough anyway. We'll see how we go with that. I just want to do some voltage measurements first. See what we're actually getting. And if the issue is present in this particular unit as well. Um, what is is a 10k resistor apparently across the battery circuitry on the IC so for the real-time clock battery and the wires oh no there we go we've got enough length great so let's have a look well it looks like my version is different yes I've got a different hardware version so it looks like I'm probably not affected by this So my version is definitely different to his. And here's the board and it's all upside down of course, isn't it? So in my case, the battery is directly on the board, it's not actually run off wires. And it's a soldered on battery so you can't replace it. Well at least not easily. Well, you can do it but obviously it's not easy. So apparently in his unit, R10 is across the battery supply. Well in my unit it doesn't have that. R10 in my unit is over here. Completely different. Nothing like it. So you can't even base it off the part number. Um, so as you can see mine is also hardware version 2.1S which is what version Voltlog has. But as you saw the circuit board is actually different. It's not the same board. Isn't that interesting? Oh, well, there's not much to do here. Catch you later.